Hey, hey, it's movie review time! Ah! Hello, everybody, and welcome to a neighbor's movie review. Yay! Today I may about watch a movie about Wasp. Stung. Just came out, actually. It just came out on October 29th. It went direct to uh, Netflix, which is fine. It's, I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, it's an interesting movie in that it is was filmed in Germany with a mostly American cast, which is uh, something that they do in Europe a lot. They have an international production. They'll shoot something in, in English and then dub it into whatever language it was being showed in Europe. Because Americans won't watch, won't read um, subtitles. Europeans are very used to it. So they film it in English. They'll usually have a recognizable American actor in it so that um, everybody thinks it's an American movie. Um, the director, I think, is also American. And it was just, the whole production was done in Germany. And it does have some up-and-coming new actors in it. And um, sorry, Jessica Cook, who um, I I can't find a whole lot about what she's. It done. looks like she, she started in 2013. Yeah, and we got Lance Henriksen, who everybody knows Lance Henriksen. Um, uh, Matt O'Leary was the male lead, and uh, Clifton Collins, who. Um, I don't have, think I've seen a lot that he's done, but he's been in quite a bit of stuff. And so, pretty good acting. I like the acting. Uh, it had um, a both digital and practical special effects, which is always great when you have a mixture. It's not just one or the other. And um, the plot was, was, I would say, satisfying. The neat thing to me was this did have a very European feel to it. It, it had lighting that reminded me of old um, uh, Italian horror films. And it, it's, uh, Europeans tend to light things a little darker than uh, we do. So, Well, plus being filmed in Germany, you know, it's gloomier. Yeah, it's, it was uh, just looked damp, the whole movie. Everything was damp looking. Yeah. And uh, yeah. they were having a, a outdoor party, and it just looked cold. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So... What was your impression? I enjoyed the movie. I stayed awake through the whole thing, which is a, always a good sign. Um, it didn't take us six hours to watch a two-hour movie, which is another yeah, good sign. Yeah, we actually sign. sat through the whole thing. I think I paused it twice to run in the other room and get something. Yeah. Um, and all the wasps did not freak you out. No, no. I didn't want to watch it at first because I, I was like, no, I don't want to watch a movie about wasps. But was it's it, not a horror flick. It was a comedy horror. Yeah. yeah. So, so the plot the plot is pretty standard monster movie, but um, it you know if you like that kind of thing, that's it was very satisfying. It had a satisfying ending. Um, it had room for a sequel if if yes. if uh, yes. it does that well. I don't know if it's going to do that well, but um, hey, Sharknado did that well. <laughs> this can go that way too. It wasn't bad. I liked it. So how many stars? A four. Yeah, a four. I don't know if I'd go a four. I'd say about a three and a half. So. Had a big body count. Had no boob count to think of. But uh, still a satisfying ending. Yeah, I think it was a good movie. But it's, <laughs> it's, to me, the giant insect movies aren't like one of my favorite genres. But I would say a three and a half. So if you guys watch <laughs> this movie, what was it called? Stung. Stung. If you guys watch this movie Stung, please let us know your take on the movie. And we will see you in the next movie review. Bye.